Hey guys, how's it going? Here we're going to be checking out Project Wingman. I came across it in the Steam uh, uh, library actually, and uh, it turns out it just came out. And uh, looking at the you know the screenshots and some of the clips from there, it actually looked pretty interesting. I have no idea really what this game is about. I'm literally jumping into it right now uh, just to see what it's like. Um, and luckily it's not like... Now I've seen that it's got some VR and stuff, so I'm not exactly sure how the gameplay is meant to be done. Uh, it says you can play without VR, so we'll see how it is, um, depending on, obviously, if it's more VR-oriented. Uh, hopefully we can still play it with, like, you know, a normal controller and stuff like that, so let's go ahead and start this up. Data processing by green, okay. Oh, no. oh okay, cool. we got mouse here. Alright, uh, yeah, accept. Alright, let's go into the settings here. Alrighty guys, went ahead and got everything set up, so we should be good now. Actually, that music's still a bit loud. And then obviously we got our VR stuff, which I definitely want to try this in VR. Let me know if you guys want to see some VR. Definitely will do that. Alrighty, now that we're all set, I think Conquest is kind of like, you know, obviously just like quick mission type stuff. Obviously we got the full campaign, so without further ado, let's just hop on in. Like I said, we're doing this right from the get-go. I haven't looked up anything. Brand new game, so I doubt there's too much on it, but we'll see. Um, I would put normal, but I have not played this game. I don't know if it's going to handle like an Ace Combat or DCS. So, let's go ahead and put easy. See where this takes us. Generations ago, a global cataclysmic event scorched the whole, <laughs> the world whole. Uh, probably like what's going on now. Newly exposed and volatile material combined with an earth-shattering tectonic collapse dismantling civilization whole. The world order was destroyed. History as we know it changed forever. That should be history as we knew it, but okay. But from the ashes, a new era began. Hundreds of years have passed. Humanity is now in the time known as... After Calamity. So now... Oh! So we have BC or BCE. We have AD, and now we have AC. Oh, wow. That's actually pretty cool. Imagine if we actually did something like that with, you know, what's going on right now, and we did it like an AC. Could you imagine? There'd be like no 2500, or 2500, or something like that. No, 20, 2100. Just be back to, you know, AC 20, you know? <laughs> Our contract with this backwater place is just about to come to an end. Oh, and all right, well, we got voices, too. Thank God. I don't mind a tropical vacation every once in a while, but it's not very glamorous, considering we're here to work. No, anyway, definitely not. One last thing before the defense minister releases our contract, and we move on to bigger and better. Hitman 2, you haven't gotten all that much airtime this deployment, so you're taking point with this operation. Mmm, have we gone practice? Oh, have we done any We have like, confirmed training? the location of the Burlock Privateer headquarters off the coast on the southwestern edge of the Jesta oh Island. Oh my god, chain. this is just They're like a mercenary Ace group like us who unfortunately <laughs> have turned to outright piracy. According to surveillance is that data, what this is supposed to be? That they are the culprit of the recent high profile hijacking of the Federation, Federation. registered cargo ship May Lynx. The May Lynx is supposedly carrying volatile cargo belonging to the Federation's Department of Global Energy and Sustainability Office. Okay. Nothing specific from the Federation contact about the cargo. However, our orders are to retrieve it if possible, or to neutralize it if we can't. I mean, we gotta do what Attempts we gotta do. to negotiate for it have turned up with nothing, so we're going in. Hitman team, you are to approach the island from the south along with support and establish control over the area. Your objective is to eliminate any surrounding anti-air and resistance on the island. After that, secure an LZ for our operator group Ronin to ascertain the cargo. Once Ronin lands, maintain air superiority until the next stage of the operation is determined. Be aware that the Burlocks have other Merc pilots on tap, so enemy reinforcements could be a factor. Normally, we'd stay out of contact with any Federation-adjacent taskings. But this is the last thing we need to do for our current contract, so I'll let it slide. Two birds with one stone. Easy enough, right? Now get to work. Dismissed. Yes, sir! Alright, so this is definitely good. I have strong ace combat vibes right off the bat. Um, I mean, it's pretty cool, recognizable, so that's good, you know. Uh, literally everything's the same. Even the little... Uh, 
crosshairs uh, they're there, kind of like the new Ace Combat Shattered Skies. So I'm noticing we don't have a name yet, just Hitman Team. Uh, Ronin, I guess, is our ground forces. We got a lot of boats, not a whole lot of uh, uh, air-to-air. air going to be a lot of air-to-ground here. Um, I like how there's just like a single aircraft. I'm guessing that's probably going to be some kind of AWACS or something like that. I'm not sure. Didn't say anything. So I guess we'll go ahead and press start. Are we going to be able to choose like an aircraft? Or is it just going to throw us in? Files. Back. Uh, so this is a bunch of stuff. This might be like items we earn or stuff. Uh, mission briefing, we just did that. So I guess start mission. Hangar? Oh, okay, cool. Oh, there it is. Uh, T-21 and the T-4. Oh, okay. Oh, I just realized these aren't... They're not the actual aircraft. So this is going to be a bit like a... Uh, they're knockoffs. I mean, you got a MG-21, not a MiG-21. You got an MG. And then a TF-4. Well, to be fair, they might actually be the same thing. Because technically, this is an F-4 Phantom. And this is definitely a MiG-21. It just says MG. I'm not sure. Pulling some real closed GTA stuff with the names there. And the styling, but... So... Okay. You got some extra hard points we got. Uh, we got just some bombs, unguided bombs, large. I guess that's what we'll do then. They're only one color scheme. Fair enough. And we can only choose flares. Okay. Oh, I guess we're ready. I mean, as ready as it'll ever be. I mean, we don't have that much to go with. Press start key to commence mission. I'm liking the feel of this. Almost like a arcade. I mean, it's probably going to be that way, but helping a little bit. Oh, wow. This is the okay, real quick. I just want to turn down <laughs> the jet. The sound now is really high. I'm not sure if it's SFX. I keep, I want to use the controller, but I have to. Oh, wow. There it is. All right. Uh, and then I'll turn the master volume down just a bit too. I keep, I'm sorry I keep doing this, guys, but I, I want you to be able to hear me a little bit too, unfortunately. But. The airborne warning and control systems aircraft Galaxy. Hitman team, get on the clock. Hitman 3, comic punching in. Hitman 2, right. copy you clear, Galaxy. You gotta let us loose. Just All right, so. Diplomat. Hitman 1, Take your flight on this vector till you start to see targets on the IFF. You know what? I'm gonna put the. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna put the uh, the ah, the captions at the top. Yeah, we're gonna put them at the top because that's how uh, Ace Combat has them. You are free to engage. All right. Hey, Monarch. Hey, Monarch. How about we watch this mission? Now are we gonna drop instantly? Yep. I have you on record saying that, oh. Perez. All right. Hit me one, All right. Oh, this is so cool. This is literally just like Ace Combat. Let's go. So we have. Look at that. That is awesome. Right. Oh wow! The shockwave from the explosion. That's a nice touch. I like that. All right, go 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 go. Enemy destroyed. Whew. All right, so let's try some air to air here. We got a BC4S, huh? I'm guessing a chopper. No, it's a jet. It's flying pretty fast. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what this is gonna be. Okay, so I just realized I don't have a high G turn. Not a problem. So we're definitely gonna be wanting to go wide on these. Alright. 
So I just noticed that uh, the AI... Well, no, never mind. I was gonna say the enemies aren't in red, but in green, which is weird. But I think that's how it is. Ugh. Look at that, the vapor. The vapor could use a little work, but I mean, it's great. All right, really slow it down. It's I'm gonna be picking up too much speed. Let's listen to this gun. While we come down on this, uh... All right, not bad. Aircraft damage. Oh, mine. Okay. It's like, that was definitely shooting at an AA. Now, where is my damage? Okay, haul. Oh! Okay. You know, it really puts a lot of emphasis on being attacked, you know? I mean, it only did one damage, and it still is like, almost like I'm half dead already, you know? That sound when it's loading up the next missile is awesome. I mean, this game looks so good, though. The reflection on the sea is not bad at all. The skies look pretty good. I think that's going to need to... Let's try and get a strafing run on this boat here. Bruh. No, I couldn't do it! Alright. <laughs> that's right. Okay, let's try this, uh, so I got an other weapon, this is unguided bombs. Let's try them out. So let's go ahead and attack these, uh, over here. Right in there. Perfect. That is awesome. Oh my goodness. Not too crazy so far. I mean, pretty simple stuff. I think it's just easing us into it. I mean, we did choose easy after all, so... Definitely gonna turn it up after this. I mean, this is... This is child's play. We got flares. I'm not exactly sure how to use them. Not that I need it, but... Oh, that is cool. They're on the... The GPS in here actually works, too. So that's cool. Um, I know the ones in AC actually are not functional, actually, so... Look at this dude! <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on! That is not what I wanted. <sighs> Alright, I will meet you guys. I will meet you guys back when I get to that ship again. Target down. Got it. <laughs> All right, what a great way to end it there. All right, is there an autopilot? Does Defense not seem so. Oh. Drop the rope. In and out real quick. Looks like everyone's scattering. Looks like we got some uh, phantoms coming in. Oh wow! <laughs> Man, you break the sail barrier. That is honestly cool. Do it again. Oh, it's not doing it, but God, that was cool. Yeah, no, you guys. Nope. You guys thought. You guys thought. I'm gonna take off. Dang, you guys. What's the, with the warning? I'm getting a warning and there are some threats going on over here. Oh, what is this? Oh, we got some F-15s now. Oh, boy. There it is, there it is, there it is. Alright, so it looks like we're going to be getting some dogfighting now. Nice. Nice to be getting, I'm a little excited. Feel excited. All right. 
I don't know what the warning's for, but I don't think it's for a missile lock. But if it is, then it's got to be a missile lock, because... Oh, the clouds, the clouds, yes. Okay, the players. Oh. Right here. Did I just reach the, the sky limit? I felt like I did. Oh, he's already trailing smoke. I should have just shot one. Oh, uh, where is he at? Right up there. Yeah, he's already trailing smoke. Too late there, buddy. Hitman team, stand by until Ronan gives the all clear. Now That's we gotta shoot these. I think we're fine by my mark. Ronan and Galaxy, we've got eyes on target. Looks like some sort of podium containment chamber. Reading says it's unstable. That bodes well. Copy, Ronan. How much is present? Enough to keep an airship powered for the uh, cold air sensors. It's not anything. Oh, that is so cool. Oh my gosh. Clean the scene. Everything you've witnessed is confidential by the Federation decree. Destroy it. Copy that. Ronin exfiltrate. You heard that, Monarch? Highlighting a new target on your IFF. Blow it when they're out. Alright. Way to go, you galaxy. You clear it, man. Alright, where did that though? There it is. Cargo. Let's use the bombs on this one. Explosion! Oh, what is the heck is this? Oh my god! Uh, uh, object is complete, Hitman. RTB at your leisure. What? I think the water's still alright? We've still got sunshine by the time we RTB. Just drop out and become a server or something, you bum. Oh yeah, me, you, and flight lead here just running a little beach ball on a gentrified huh. resort built from our blood huh. money. Same really? Fighters approaching the flight to your direct south. Flash item or we will flag it with hostiles. Easy, easy. Flashing IFF. We just found it. Bent by the looks of it. Bent to the bow of Posse. You hired by those mercs in the fort, bud? Heh. <laughs> Past tense now, I guess. We got no beef with you. It's your business. I'm sure you guys understand. Put me on, Galaxy. This is Assassin One, call sign Kaiser. I'm the leader of the Sakari Mercenary Corps. We need to understand your situation. Sorry about losing your revenue stream, gentlemen. But you know how this business goes. Don't sweat up. We're about to break off and go west anyway, towards Cascadia. Cascadia? Yeah, haven't you heard? Civil War against the Federation. Some rogue Cascadian ambassador has been idle dropping, dropping off contracts and information all day. Yeah, rebels need bugs, but I need a job. Massacre's one, out. You see, that's a team name that sounds fun to have. Yeah, I know. But? Civil War in Cascadia. Interesting. Wow! Well, honestly, props to the actor. <laughs> the British accent was a nice little addition. The money came through from this contract, and our opportunities in this region have just about dried up. If no one objects, and your contract with Sicario is still in effect, pack your bags. 
I looked a little into the Cascadian situation, and I believe we'll make a little something of ourselves there. Alrighty, so this is interesting. We're not actually, you know, I don't know if I missed it at the beginning or what, but I guess we're not actually like a military force. We're, you know, we're, we're a military force, but we're not like from the country of this or that. We're literally mercenaries and we're just fighting for jobs. That's interesting. This is different for sure. I'm interested to see where this goes.